Hello and welcome to part three in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to build and visualize your very own networks. At the end of part one, we created these blue nodes here with connected with edges and we had 10 nodes in total and we had one node in the middle with nine other nodes going around the outside. Now at the end of part two, we added five more nodes at the end of one of the nodes and we also had them a different shape and a different colour. Now at the end of part three, we're going to add labels and we're also going to change the colours to make sure the label stands out and makes it easier to read. And we're also going to do some node specific sizing as well. Notice that number one here is bigger than the rest of the blue ones on the outside. And also notice that these red ones here are smaller than this blue four here. Let's get started. What you see here is what we had at the end of part two. And I can prove that to you by if we just use plt.show so I can show you briefly what we had and so where we're working from. So this is what we had, what I showed you in the intro. And what we're going towards is this here. First things first, let's add some labels. So let's quit this figure run here, like so. And we can add some labels. So how we do that is if you type in nx dot draw network x labels, that's its own function. And then type in brackets nxg, which is the name of our graph, nxg here that we created in the first line of part one. And then what we can do is we can type in comma pause for our position, how we want to position our nodes, comma, and then we specified the font size here by typing font underscore size equals 12. And you can do so many things to these labels. You can specify the font style as well as the size, the font color, and even the opacity to make it a bit more transparent. So lots of things you can do with labels. And if we run it now, we can see these labels have been added. Like so. You see here that we have our labels added. Now, they're not very visible, which is why we're going to lighten up the colors now. And how we're going to do that is we're going to choose some different colors. Interestingly, if you don't know what color to choose, or you know you want to have a, like a light blue or light red in my case, but you're not quite sure what they're called, the best thing to do is to, to go into Google, type in Python colors, and then click on images. Then what I've done is I clicked on the first image and out pops, you know, all these names of colors and you can just pick and choose what you want. So what I've gone for is a, a light blue and a light red. So what I've done here, I've got my reference below. So uh, my light blue is just called light blue and my red is called light coral. So what we can do now is we can change the first blue to be a light blue. And we can change our color for red to be a light coral color. And then we can rerun it and we can see what we've had. Hopefully the label will be a bit more visible now. And we can see that's exactly the case. So that's really cool. So that's us. That's how you add labels. The next thing we can do is we can now change the size of these nodes. We can specify the sizes of these nodes. So let's do that. So how we do that, if I'm just going to refer to my reference here, is, well, there's diff various different ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you is simply by going into our, where we draw our network nodes, go into here, type in comma, node underscore size equals, and then specifying a size. So let's say 500 here, and then we can have our red ones maybe a bit smaller. So we can specify even in levels what sizes that we want. So say 500 and let's 200. And then we can run this. And then you should hopefully see a difference in sizes. Here we are. You see the difference there in the sizes? The red ones are a lot smaller than the blue ones. That's really great. We've had all the blues the same size 
and all the reds are a different size. But we can go one step further with this and we can specify the sizes of individual nodes. We can see here that one is quite important here. And it seems that without one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine would seem to be really irrelevant. So one is pretty important. So let's make that bigger than everything else. And what we can do is we can actually create a list. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do this. But what we can do is we can create two lists, one for each of my levels that I've created. Like so, called sizes one and sizes two. And instead of specifying individual size here, we can just put sizes one and sizes two. Now, the first level here has 10 nodes. So this is reference to 10 nodes. So make sure you have 10, your list size here is 10 long, your length is 10. And then sizes two has five nodes, so make sure you have five values here for mentioning the sizes. So we just run that, and hopefully we'll have some decent size here. And notice here that in this list, we specified one to be the biggest, because it's most important. And then blue around the outside is the next biggest, and then these reds are the smallest. And that's because within our list, we specified number one is the first one to be a thousand, the rest to be 500, and the second level to be 200. Cool. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. It's just a quick one on how to take your, how to visualize your networks and take it to the next level. In the next part, in part four, I've started it here so I can show you, is we're going to make it a bit more uh, dynamic where we're going to count the number of occurrences there are in this array that we've created in these node edges and we're going to make a bit more dynamic and have the sizes dependent upon how many and how important each of these nodes are rather than having to manually create a list every time. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.